now let's see if we can plot the p of x's on top of it to see how close they kind of line up now that we've put our buckets in place. So I can say, all right, let's go to the chart design data, and then let's add another one for the p of x now. And we're going to hold on a second. Wait a second here before I do that. Let's add, not edit, add another one, which is going to be the p of x and then selecting this, deleting that, and selecting our data right there. Say OK, and boom. So now we've got some comparative data. So now we were able to put those into buckets and do something somewhat comparative, which we again, we can say, OK, it looks kind of like the bell curve would be something that would be giving us some useful information. Now, I just want to show also that we could do this do this frequency distribution over here where we did wh which one did i did i do this on so see how we summed these up uh this way so again that kind of works pretty well given the fact that we have these very fine lines as you can see when we graphed it but uh we but we we could do it another way which which would be to basically use uh, formulas so we can define our lower and upper area and then basically use the norm dot dist formulas so to see that uh, let's go down here and say this is going to be my lower and upper and then this is going to be the p of x and then let's make this our headers home tab font group black white wrap that we don't really need to wrap it i'll just center it and then I'm going to say, let's put the starting lower at uh, negative one and the upper is, or I can put the lower at negative, uh, well, I could leave it blank, but I'll put the upper at then zero. That's our first one. And then it's going to start from zero and it's going to go up by 400. So this is going to be the prior one plus 400. And then I can copy these down until we get to that uh, five six zero zero so i'm just going to copy that down and so that looks right and then i'm just going to co going to copy that pattern down until we get to the five six uh zero zero five two i don't need this last one okay so now we can we can say our p of x using our norm dot dist the first one i'm just going to say this is going to be norm dot dist now and this is going to be our x and i'm just going to use the zero as my upper threshold right and then i'm going to say comma the mean i'm going to pick up the mean up top which is over here there's our mean and then comma i'm looking up here norm dot dist and the next one is going to be the standard deviation standard deviation comma and then let's go back on over now that we've entered that and then comma cumulative i want it to be cumulative so i'm going to pick everything up up to that zero point so i'm going to say one for cumulative and enter now on the second one what i wanted to do is take between zero and 400. so what i'm going to do is pick the upper threshold of 400 minus norm dot dist up to zero because now we want that in between calculation so I'm going to say, all right, this is going to be equal to norm dot dist. The X is going to be the higher one, the 400 comma, the mean and the standard deviation. I'm going to go over here to pick those up are going to be mean comma. I'm looking up.